You ready, Victor? You know it, bro. Alright. We are in action. Yo, what's up, brothers? I'm about to do a sick-ass stunt jump. Bro, that was epic. High five. Alright, let's go get some food. Oh, man. Yo, what's up, Ronnie? Sup, Victor? Sup, Hunter? Oh, wait. Hunter. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to go back there. But no, it's all good, bro. So let me guess. The usual. Yup. Okay. Here you go. And here's your sub. Alright, thank you. Yeah, thank you. <sighs> what is this place anyway? Is this only a skate park? Nope. Come check it out, homies. It's right over here. Right here. Okay. So. This is obviously our indoor skating rink. Or if you call it skate park. Whatever you want to call it. And on the first floor, there's a painting class. And... On the second floor, there's a dance studio slash camp. And on the third floor, there's a basketball court. And there's also, you know, like a little painting area. And there's also a place where you can sleep up there. So, yeah, this place, most people come after school. You know, it's like an activity center. Oh, wow. Yeah, this place is extraordinary. Yeah, so uh, let me know if you guys need anything. All right, Ronnie. All right, let's go play some basketball. Yeah, I'm about to go downtown on your ass. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Oh, hey, sir. Oh, somebody must have left their phone here. Could have been the boys. Hey! Oh, yeah. We were just coming back. Oh, really? Because I noticed that. Is this your phone? No, I think that's my cousin, Ryan's phone. Huh. Let me call his mom. Do you know his passcode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're cousins. Let me call him. Yo, um, Aunt Ashley, Victor, what are you doing with Ryan's phone? Um, I found it here at, uh, the community center, so, you think you can come and pick it up tomorrow for Ryan? Oh my god, thank you so much, Victor. I mean, you could bring it over, if you'd like. Nah, um, it would just be on this yellow, uh, beanbag chair, uh, once you walk in. Hmm, okay. Thank you, Victor. Love you. Love you, too. Alright, so don't worry. That's just my cousin's phone. Um, his mom, you know, my aunt. My aunt is gonna come pick it up for him. Okay, let me know if you guys need anything. Alright, back to the elevator. I'm gonna get to work. Got to make sure the register's fine. Uh, sir? What do you need? Sir. Sir, you can't be back here. Sir! Okay. I don't know what you're trying to do, sir. But you're acting kind of scary. I'm 
talking real crazy, Hunter. Uh. Yeah, let's check this out. The basketball court's over there. We see a random guy there. Yeah, let's not mind him. Ooh, Rita really painted this. Yeah, I know. She is an artist, bro. I'm talking. It could have taken her hours or years to do this. You know what? I heard that there's a Rita, uh, Rita meet and greet uh, later on. So, uh, later on this week. So, you want to come? Bro, I am so fucking down for that. Yeah, me too, bro. All right. Ooh, let's check this out. Hmm, we could probably sleep here. Uh, yeah, but uh, my mom wants me to get back. Wait, what time is it? <sighs> yeah, it is about 11.30, and she wants me to get be back before 1. Be back before 1. Huh. Eh, anyway. Let's just go play some basketball. What? Lewis? Yo, what's up, bro? Yeah. Yo, bro. Like, wait, wait. Don't you work at the grocery store? Oh, I am, but I come here some nights, you know, just to get my mind off of things. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Can we play with you? Um, actually, I was just uh, getting ready to go home. Oh, you were? Yeah, so... I will be headed out. Hey, why don't you guys go in the elevator for a second? Elevator? For what? Uh, just go in there. Uh, you're acting weird, Lewis. No. Go in there. Okay. Come on, Hunter. <laughs> huh, let's see what... What? Lewis? Uh, Lewis, where'd you go? Uh, that's weird. Anyway, uh... Time to go downtown, boy. All right. Oh, oh. Guard me. Oh, oh. Wait, I think you're supposed to be in front. Oh, yeah, sorry. All right. Oh, 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 oh. And hoop, hoop, hoop. Yeah. Woo. All right. Now, your turn to guard me. What, what, what? Oh, oh, man. I tripped. Nah, that's good. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> what? Did I just hear something through the elevator shaft? Who are you, man? Yeah. <gasps> I know it's a hard time for everybody. Victor was a beautiful man. He will be loved and miss. But I'm going to tell you guys one thing and one thing only. All right? He is a most good man that he has been such an inspiration to. We have done everything we possibly could for this man. It's going to be a hard time, everybody. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> My son, Victor. <laughs> Victor, if you could hear us, we love you. <sighs> yeah, not to mention... If anybody would like to come up here and say some parting words, now is the time. Well, Victor, Auntie loves you. Be safe. Oh, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Victor, you were the best cousin on this planet. I don't know what I could have done without you, but you were my best friend. Love you, bro. Well. Well, Victor. You were a good son. 
the best son on this earth. <sighs> Love you, son. <laughs> yeah. Same. You were my best friend too, Victor. We've done everything. We've been best friends ever since we were seven years old. <laughs> Alright, guys. <sighs> Funeral's over, everybody. So, <sighs> he is buried six feet under. And, yeah. We're all gonna miss him. Wow. Ugh. Good morning, Henry. Your food's over there. I'm about to go to school. All right, bye, Ma. I'm going to school. All right, see you later, honey. Love you. Love you, too. And make sure you walk my dog. Oh, don't worry. I walk him every day. Hey, what's up, Henry? Yo, what's up, Ryan? What's up, Ry? What's up, Danny? Hey, bro. What are you doing near my girl? I wasn't even talking to her, Billy. <sighs> Move out the way, bitch. Hey. What's up, Clarissa? Yo. Ethan. Sup. Wait, where's Pedro? Oh, sorry about that. Um, I was in the treehouse. What the fuck? Anyways, let's let's go to class. <sighs> Sup, Spencer. Sup, Pedro. Yeah. Hey, punk Ryan. Dude, calm your ass. Spencer and Pedro. I'd like a word with you in my office. Ooh, you're going to get ex sh sh Shut the fuck up. Hey, not cool, Spencer. Uh, I mean, Pedro. Come here. You guys don't take the school very serious, don't you? What the hell just happened? Anyway, let's go. All right, come on, Abigail. Mm-hmm. Hey, Danny. Come on. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to touch your laptop, Mr. McDaniel. Oh, no. No problem, Ryan. Uh, Get back to your proper seat, Billy. Oh. So what's up, everybody? You guys are going to write an essay. And Carlos, put your phone away. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'll just put it in my locker. Oh. What's that? Oh, here's my locker. Yeah. All right, the phone's away. All right, so we're going to be writing an essay on why the sky's blue. So everybody take out a piece of paper and a pen. So I've been getting a lot of complaints that... You spray-painted cuss words on a playground. What does that have to do with the school? Oh, yeah. You spray-painted saying Los Angeles High School sucks ass. On a playground where little kids are. So, you know what? I'm leaving you guys detention after school for two hours for a whole month. Two hours worth of detention? Oh, if you keep talking... I'm going to make it three. All right, boys, get back to art class. But our art teacher's not even here. Ah, oh, who am I going to get to substitute? Mr. Gilmer. Hey. Vice Principal Norman? Norman? Yeah. How is Mr. Gilmer going to teach the art class? He doesn't even know how to draw. Hey, I draw pretty good. If you don't believe me, follow me. I'll be teaching your art class. But you're the janitor. So what? I could be a janitor and a substitute. So who's going to clean up the rest of the mess? 
in the lunch lady area. Hmm. I already cleaned that up. Okay. All right, boys. Let's get to class. Oh, this is stupid. Hey. No yelling. Move your ass. Miss Adams, would you like another cup of coffee? No, thank you. All right. All right, boys. Have a seat and don't move. So, everybody, I'm going to teach you how to draw a beautiful grass. And I'm talking real beautiful. What the fuck is this dude saying? Hey, Pedro. Keep it down. All right, anyway. <sighs> Wait. We can't paint without some music. Yeah, let's get some jam on. All right. Wait, this sounds like funeral music. What about this? Oh, yeah, I like this. All right, everybody. I'm going to show you how to paint a beautiful landscape. Watch this. Uh. All right. Got to make the sky a little bluer. Dip, dip, dip. Oh man, I'm all out of blue paint. Mm. Got blue on there. All right, that should be enough. All right, now the grass. And I drew a smiley face on there to make it more unique. Uh, Mr. Gil Gilmer? Yeah. Can you use the restroom, please? Hurry up. You might miss out. All right, but Spencer can tell me what I miss. All right, well, Spencer shouldn't be helping you. This is your own work. All right. I'm gonna do something very savage. I'm gonna take all the tampons so when the girls use the restroom, they're gonna scream their ass off, being like, Ah, I'm bleeding really bad. Where's the tampons? <laughs> I wanna hear that, but let's see what's in here. Oh, hey, doggy. Will you be my witness? <gasps> you will? Okay, watch right here. And there's a little opening through the vent, and you can see. So long, doggy, while I take all these tampons. And throw them in the recycling compactor. And I'm gonna take this backpack too. This backpack's mine now. Alright, let me take all these tampons. Alright, and I'm gonna throw it in the backpack and I'm gonna throw the backpack in the re recycling compactor. Aha! Uh -huh. Pedro, you don't know some ways. Uh. Oh, there's no room. All right, let me just shut this. All right. And what can I use as a holding mechanism so I can hold? Mm. What can I use? I can use this. Yeah, I can use this to collect all them tampons. Oh, yeah. Right. There's no more tampons left. I think we got our first victim. All right, all right, all right. Let me just take these down. And we see another victim coming through that locker room. Oh, man. I'm starting out my period. <laughs> uh, why are there any tampons? Oh, I'm out of bleed on myself. <laughs> All right. Recycling compactor, recycling compactor. Uh, I'm gonna put them in Ryan's locker. <laughs> Wait, that's not Ryan. Oh yeah, this is Ryan's locker for sure. 
<laughs> and he's gonna open it, be, being so shocked, being like, Why are there tampons in my locker? Alright, so let's get all, let's get all this shit out. Get all this random junk. Oh, man. Empty out. Alright, get rid of this. And I'm about to flatter with tampons everywhere. Oh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Come on. Get this out of the bag. All right, I think we got one more. One more, one more, one more, please. All right, that's it. Now, I just need to do these ones. And I'm going to open them. And, uh, woo! All right, now, we're going to throw all this random backpacks in the junk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait. Jeffrey also takes out the trash, so I can distract him with this, and I can do whatever the hell I want during class. Ah! And there you got it, everybody. I have showed you how to paint. Oh, what took you so long? You've been gone for 10 minutes. I was taking a dump. Okay, you don't have to be so graphic, but just sit back down. Wait, but I have something else to tell you. Sit down. No, I'm being serious. All right, hurry up. There's some trash that I witnessed that you need to take out. I took out all the trash today, boy. Sit down. No, but there's more. Yeah, but the garbage man already took it. Well, you need to collect it again. Man, stop trying to change the subject just to get out of class. Sit your butt down now. Okay. What to do this time? Bro. I took all the tampons from the girls' bathroom, and I witnessed the first girl kind of get her period removed, and she's gonna bleed in her underwear. <laughs> and I put all the tampons in Ryan's locker. <laughs> Alright, so, everybody get this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, yep, I definitely get it, you know. <laughs> and what's so funny? Oh, nothing. Uh, Spencer was just telling me. Uh, what he saw while I was gone and you know we were just laughing on how funny this looks and it all because you know it had a smiley face hmm I guess you're right but I covered the smiley face now so you ain't got to see it no more yeah bro all right settle down everybody I turn off the music now everybody Aw, oh, man, class is already over. All right. Oh, have a good day, everybody. Oh. It's PE time. PE, PE. It's PE time, everybody. Yeah. All right. Oh, man. Why are there so many tampons in my locker? Uh, hello, how can I help you? Hey, is Pedro Santos here? Uh, yes, he's sitting over there. Pedro, come with me. I got a little something that I need to show you. What's up? Come here. <clears throat> so, what is this? You want to explain this, Pedro? Tampons in Ryan's locker. How'd you get that picture? Oh, Ryan came to me. And he took a picture with it on his phone. And he showed me. And he emailed me. And that's how it's on this computer. And this girl was bleeding on herself because you took all the tampons out of the bathroom. And she couldn't use them to get rid of her bleeding thing out of her vagina well i mean yeah i did that as a joke yeah well it's not funny she was crying and she was bleeding her ass off 
Now she has a bloody vagina. <laughs> it's not funny. Laughing at vaginas are not cool. You know what? I had enough with this. You know what? Get out. What? Yeah, just get out. Am I expelled? No, I just get out. Oh, you're done for the day. Leave, Pedro. You caused too much trouble here. Get out. Oh. Hey, will you make sure that he gets all his things? Okay. Don't worry. I'll make sure that he never does that again. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Fucking Pedro. Hey, my love. <coughs> Billy. Hey. Uh, what are you doing? I'm giving you a flower. Man, don't act like that you just got that from a store. You literally just picked that from the ground. But, baby, I want you to forgive me. Look, I'm just saying, from all these mistakes that you've done in the past, and, like, from all the trauma you put me through, and it's always, Billy, stop, this is not funny. Like, I shouldn't have to keep telling you that, Billy, so, I'm sorry. It's not going to work out between the two of us. So. I will take this flower. And throw it in the fucking trash. I'm done with you, Billy. It's over. What the? Well, here I am at Krill Grill. Might as well give me some food to give me my... To get my mind off of it. <sighs> yeah. How can I help you, sir? Table for one. Ah, oh, school sucks, man. Here I am in my grandmother's home that who passed away and left it to me. My parents are at a festival. I gotta clean this place up. I mean, look at all this. Ugh. So old. <gasps> ah! Who are you? Who are you, man? Get out of my house now. Get out. What? What? what, what? No. some grocery work to do. Okay. I got the head open. I hacked it open. Got the spider. Hey, spider. There's a man that can put me inside of there. I want you to go bite him. Fucking now. <laughs> ah, now I know who you really are, man. Yeah. <sighs> I got your mask. Oh, I got your mask. I got your mask, man. I got your mask. Really? You're gonna cover your head with another mask that's propped up on there? At least you got bit by a spider. Now I got your mask. Oh, no. No, I'm locking this door. Hut. Get out of my house. Stupid ass.
<laughs> I'm gonna take his clothes too. Yo, Manny, come over here. Although that ain't your name, but whatever. I have an outfit for you. Put this shit on. Got the glasses. Got the hat. There you go. I'm also going to be keeping your outfit. So get off my property. Gates will be locked. Hmm, what's this? Hmm. Some type of note thing, I think. Alright. His clothes are in there. His mask is in here. He will never find it. Ah, oh, man. I need to go to bed. Hey, Mew. Mew's needs to go to... Hey. You want to go shit on the neighbor's yard? You can't keep doing it on my bed. So. Go in the neighbor's yard. I'll come check on you in a few hours after my nap. Oh. Hey. Croaky. My pet frog. Yeah. Ugh. Stupid kid. Don't worry. I'll get to him one day. He took my outfit, and I'll get it back from him. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm gonna keep this disguise though, so he doesn't know that I'm me. So. I want him to think that I'm a whole different person. <laughs> oh, shit, I need to go to work. Oh. Where have you been? You were supposed to be here 10 hours ago. Go over there. And do your job. Sorry, um, I was stuck in heavy traffic. For 10 hours? Yeah. Someone got stuck in heavy traffic when they went to Canada. Dude. Don't make up no freaking excuse. Hey, I'm not making up any excuse. I'll, I know you are, man. Look, this cannot happen again or else I'm going to have to fire you. All right? So, do your job and do it right. I'm sorry. I just had to be there for my kids. Man, your kids are adults, man. They have a job. They can take care of themselves. Yeah, but that's selfish. I want to be a good dad. Well, look. Just cut the bullshit, man. And besides, you only have one kid. One kid. What other kids do you have there? I have nieces and nephews. But that's not important. Your brothers and sisters can take care of them because they're their kids. Okay, so sit your ass down and ring up customers. There's barely anybody in the store, man. Well, pff, yeah, nobody didn't come to the store because you didn't show up. Get your ass glued to that cash register. I'll be in my office. All right, fine. <clears throat> yeah, hello, Ma. Hey, Ryan. Can you stop at the store and pick up milk, please? Yeah, sure. Here, I'll send you some money. All right. All right, it's sent. All right, thank you, Ma. Bye. Huh. 
Andre. Hey, what's up, Andre? Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, how are you, man? So, do you think that you can come and stop at my office, you know, just to talk about some things? Because I am a mental health therapist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll come talk to you when I get a chance, man. Mm-hmm. Alright, bye. Let's go get some milk. Oh, finally! Lewis! The first customer finally showed up! Hey. Hey, don't say hey to the customer. You were supposed to show up here at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Man, where do you live? I live in Pasadena. Okay! It should only take you, like, what? 20, 30, 40 minutes? Dude, you need to wake up early. You live in Pasadena? Dude, there's traffic. I don't know what other way that takes me to get here to avoid highways and interstate tolls. Well, you better figure it out or move somewhere closer. Like, sell your house in Pasadena and move here to freaking Los Angeles. This shit is the bomb. Move to a house that's around here. As a matter of fact, there's a house across the street that is for sale. So, yeah. Sell your house in Pasadena and buy that house. And you can just walk across the street to your job. So you don't have to almost be late every single day. If you live in freaking Pasadena. I mean, I'm sorry. This was the only grocery store that was available that they were hiring. So, I live in Pasadena and this was the grocery store job that I applied to. Well, look, man, you need to wake up early. And I'm talking really early. I'll, I'll try. Oh, no, don't try. Do it. <sighs> Hi, I just need to buy some milk. Wait a second. Are you Andre's dad? Yeah. You know my son, Andre? Yeah, of course I do, man. He is the mental health therapist, and I'm friends with him. Your son, Andre? Yeah. Andre Thompson? And you're Lewis Thompson? Yeah. Hey, let me ring you up. Mm. So you're just getting a cup of milk, nothing else? <sighs> nope, nothing else. All right, total's going to be 405. All right, there you go. Thank you. Hey, you need a bag or a receipt? Nope, I can just carry it with my bare hands. Okay. You know, you only made one customer come, right? You better get more customers in here. Or else I'm going to have to let you go. Okay, I'll get more customers in here. Don't mock me. If you ever mock me, you're fired. Well, look who came into your store. Okay. So, I guess you are making customers finally come. Alright. Okay. So, you better make more by the end of the day. Tell you what. You made... Alright, that was that one kid. Two, three... Four, five, six. Oh, seven. Yeah, so you made. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. You made seven customers come, right? You better have at least 20 by the end of the day. Okay? You better have more customers come. And I'm trusting you. We got security cameras in here. So I can tell who comes in and who comes out. Okay? So, start working. Oh, gosh, dang it. <laughs> oh my god! Are you just gonna let him eat the shrimp without paying for it? No, 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 I wasn't paying attention. Well, pay attention. This grocery store ain't that big. So, yeah. Sir... Don't ever eat that again without paying for it, okay? All right. 
We got coupons for buy one, get one free spaghetti. <laughs> Thanks for the milk, Ryan. No problem. <clears throat> huh. Oh. Hey, buddy. Are you tired, man? You want to take a nap? All right. <sighs> I'm going to go out. Hold on. I need to tell Ryan. Ryan! I'm going out. Oh, you're going out where? I just need to meet somebody. Mm, okay. If you need anything, text me. All right, Ma. Love you. Love you too. Ah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Eggs, bro. Pedro, Spencer, take an egg. And there's three of us. We just got a jackpot full of three eggs when there's three of us, man. <sighs> take one. There's only one left. Yeah, take it, man. Oh my God. We're gonna egg Ryan while he's playing video games. What the heck? Why are there eggs? <laughs> what the? Turn this freaking tea. Pedro, Spencer, and Billy. What the hell are you guys doing in my house? Oh, well, you know, we just been in your shower the whole time. And then we got your eggs. Man, give me my eggs back, man. What? Yeah. What the? What? You don't touch my food. Need these to cook. So. Get out of my house. Dip. What the f- Who are you? <gasps> um... Ryan? Do you know these boys? Yeah. They stole almost every single one of these eggs and tried to egg me. No, 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 no. We just came in here because we're Ryan's friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, oh, we're just friends. Yeah, we're just chilling. No. They are not my friends. They're bullies. And this guy- put tampons in my locker and took all the tampons out of the bathroom so a girl would bleed her pussy. Ryan, you expect me to believe that somebody took tampons and put them in your locker. How would they know the combination to your locker? Dude, this guy, this motherfucker right here, leaked my combination for my locker so this guy would break into my locker and put the tampons in there. What? What? No, no, no. We never did that. Yeah, we would never do that to our best friend, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. I remember that time where you bought me ice cream? I, I didn't buy you shit, bro. Shut the fuck up. Get out of my house, everybody. Oh, my God. Ryan. Oh, my God. Our best friend's kicking us out. You guys are not my friends, by the way. Oh, don't listen to them. They're assholes. Ryan. Ma, I'm being serious. That guy in the green shirt, he literally put the tampons in my locker today. Man. Yeah, it's been kind of a long day. Oh, okay, Ryan. Well, did you re report about it? Yeah, I went to the principal and I even took a picture of it and emailed it to the principal as evidence. 
Oh, and what happened to the guy in the green shirt? He just got kicked out of the school for the day. And yeah, he didn't get suspended. No, he didn't get suspended. He just got kicked out. Like he had to be sent back home. And yeah. Hmm. God damn it. Aw, oh, stupid work. Aw, oh, shit! I need to get my suit. Ah, oh, my fucking suit. That guy. He took it. Don't worry. I need to sneak back in there. I know who to help me. So, let me get this straight. You'll pay me a hundred dollars if... I can help you with this thing. Yeah, I'll pay you. Okay, so what do I do? You. Just disguise yourself. With what? Anything. Like this? Perfect. Uh, okay. But I can't really see. That's the point. You're not supposed to see. But how am I going to know where I'm going? You got magic. So, I need help trying to get my suit back from this guy. And I went to his house. Whatever. So, this is the dude's house. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's go. So my suit is right. <laughs> What's going on? Are you, you taking a bath? La 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 la. Oh, that was a nice bath. Ah, ah, I'm gonna go get. <laughs> And then, and, huh? What, what was that sound? Uh. I'm gonna go outside. Fuck, 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 fuck. We're fucked. Come on. Come with me. What are we supposed to do? Fucking crow, go away. Yeah, that's right. Don't come back in here. Uh. Hey. Huh. All right, so, look, I got a plan. You see him with this cat, right? He's distracted. So, we're going to take this mask that has no revealing eye holes on here, and we're going to cover it over his face and pretend like nothing happened, okay? So, we're just going to run over there and just put it over. I'm going to do it. You just stand by. Uh, yeah, sleepy cat. <gasps> what? What the heck? Why can't I see anything? Who turned off the lights? Uh, hello, I can't see anything. We got the suit. Alright, I helped you. So, pay me a hundred bucks. A uh, hundred bucks? Yeah. hundred bucks. <gasps> oh, <fuck. laughs> ah! Haha, uh -huh. I ain't paying you shit, man. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Why can't I see anything, man? Ugh. What the? 
What the? Where did the suit go? This ain't the suit. What? What even is this shit? Ah. Oh. What? What? The? Do man. What the? What? I just have a slobbery face now. What? I'm green. I'm green. I'm green. I'm green. I'm green. So whatever I touch turns green? The heck? Yo, I heard you're touching stuff that's turning green. Hey, where did you come from? I need to take this thing off. Oh, you look hideous. Yeah, yeah. You might as well just put all that stuff back on, man. Uh. Uh. The heck? Uh. Goodbye, man. Uh. <laughs> yeah. That dude's trapped in there forever. And ever. And ever. Haha. -ha. What the? <laughs> ah! What the? What? What? Stupid owl! Ah! Ah! I'll come back for you later. Fucking owl, get in there. This is stupid. Okay, everybody. Welcome back to dance class. So, we got DJ Eric in the house. Wait, yo, uh, Clarissa, can you get that thing out of your locker for me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Also grab the glasses. Got you. Wait, forgot my glasses. Hold up. Okay. All right. Uh, here you go. Yo. We got DJ Eric in the house. Yeah, what's up, everybody? Yeah. So, everybody, get together. Wait, there's only five of us. Oh, don't worry. I'll be dancing. So, Bianca, you're with me. Uh, you're going to be paired with Clarence. What's up, Clarence? And Chance and Nadia. You guys are together. All right, DJ Eric, get some dope-ass music on. Uh, Okay. Man, that's weak. Put on some more. No, 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 no. That's off key. Okay, now that sounds a little better. Oh, yeah.
Wow. That sounded really good, DJ Eric. With that music on. Yeah, sure did. All right, everybody. So it looks like it's time to hit the hay. All right, it's time for me to get back home. And you guys can sleep in your dance clothes if you want to. All right. Good work, everybody. Yeah, um, our room is upstairs, so. Third floor, everybody. Oh, yeah, I might need to go home, so uh, let me get in the elevator. Yeah, I need to get home, too. All right. Time to hit the hay. Let's get these lights off. Let's get the TV off. What other lights need to be off? This, this. All right. All the lights are off. You'll be bottom bunk. All right. Good night. Good night. Oh my god. I need to go to the bathroom. Oh. Hey, someone here? I think I just heard somebody make a noise. Man, it's probably just nothing. I think I just heard someone. Someone moving. Huh. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm putting 911 on the line. 911, what's your emergency? Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, I need to report a dead body right here. Oh my god, yeah. It's at Los Angeles Community Center. Yeah. Uh, let me give you the address. Uh, 247 Compton Road. Yeah. Los Angeles. Come on now. Early in the morning, and I feel like listening to some music. Huh, let's see what recommendations I have. Oh yeah. This will get me. Alright. Let's play it. Hook it up. I don't know who I am. I just know I'm not the same as everybody else I just feel like I'm different No, I'm nothing like you yet I know I'm something else cause I'm so nasty Nasty Making this nasty again No, I'm nothing like you yet I know I'm something else cause I'm so nasty Nasty Billy, turn that shit off. Billy, what the hell are you doing, man? Why are you blasting music like that? Um, I was just trying to get my mood up. Well, don't do that. Okay. Oh, man, I kind of feel bad for Clarissa. I'm going to go to her house, and I'm going to try to give her flowers, see if she forgives me. I'm going to give her a note and flowers. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. And I even have her address here. Yeah. 
think it's a house. Yeah, I think it's a house. All right, let's see. What's the address? I could probably drive there or walk there. Hmm. 9173 Sick Mill Road. Wait. That's where I went. Wait, no. That's the street that Ryan lives on. Do they live in the same apartment? No, no, wait. Yeah, it's on the same street, but Ryan's house is way far out. So, th that's a long road. So, yeah, yeah. I'll just drive there. <sighs> huh, why is their house so empty? Is this Clarissa's room? This used to be the kitchen. This used to be the living room, the bathroom, and her mom's room. Huh. Let me call her mom. Yeah, hello, Billy. Yeah, uh, Miss Rodriguez? Yeah, what's up? Uh, why is your house empty? Because I'm selling it. Why are you selling it? Because I had to move somewhere else very far away. Well, why? I'm trying to see Clarissa. Billy. Clarissa died. She was brutally murdered at 12 a.m. in the morning. What? Yeah. Oh, there's a serial killer that who killed her. Oh, my God. He stabbed her 21 times. And then her best friend, Bianca, called an ambulance. And she got sent to the hospital. <laughs> and after that, I don't know what they're going to do with her at the hospital. I don't know if they're just going to leave her corpse there or something like that. But I think there should be a funeral. But I'm literally driving to the new whole city that I'm moving to. I'm moving somewhere very far where the serial killer can't find me. Oh, no. Where are you moving to? I'm moving to Utah. Utah? Yeah. The serial killer won't know that I'm in Utah. Oh, Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. She died? Oh, my God. I feel sorry because, you know, she broke up with me. I was going to come over here and give her an apology letter and flowers. Oh, my God. She died? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm really sorry for your loss, Mrs. Rodriguez. <sighs> Thank you. I really appreciate it, Billy. But, you know, I'm, I'm still driving, and I'm not going to be here for another 10 hours. So, yeah, it's a very long drive, and there's so much heavy, uh, heavy traffic. So, yeah. All right. Take care. Bye, Billy. Wow. Clarissa died. All right. I might as well just return these flowers and throw away this note. Oh, what a waste of energy for me to come over here. Uh, where's the worker? Wait, where's Lewis? Don't worry. Once he comes over here, I'm about to yell at his face for not being here as much. Uh, I'm here. Oh, look who it is who decided to show up. After what? You clocked out yesterday? And then you decided to not show up today? What the hell is going on? I'm sorry, I have to make so many shortcuts. And look, I don't want to hear any more excuses. Look, this is the last thing I want to happen, and this will never happen again. No more excuses. Your job is to sit down here, ring up customers, and tell them to give you money. You're fired. You are no longer working with us anymore. Get out. But get out. <sighs> now I have to run this door. Aren't you the boss? <laughs> yeah, but we can barely get any more employees here. All we got here is that stupid janitor that who cleans up here. He can't even work because he doesn't know how to work cash registers and ring up items. 
Is he really that retarded? No, it's not that. It's just some people don't know how their jobs work. Hmm. Anyways, what do you need? Um, I noticed that we don't have any uh cereal in the house, so we do have milk, but no cereal, so but just a cereal for today. All right, your total is going to be $3.49. Come again. So pissed off at that guy. So pissed off. Uh, now I have to put up a sign that help wanted and that we're hiring. I'm going to go to my office and do that immediately. Damn, Lewis, you really got fired. Yeah, people don't like me. Well, you just need to keep showing up. I know, but, you know, I need to make some budget cuts, and I don't really budget my time enough to go to work because I have a lot of stuff to do, but I can't tell you about it. No, no, tell me. No. Mm. I heard that there was a serial killer that who had a shaped beard like you... And that killed Clarissa Rodriguez. And there was also a guy like that, that who killed my cousin Victor. Do you know anything about that? Um, no. No, I don't. Are you lying? No, I don't. But this briefcase had a bunch of my business license in here in my application papers <sighs> gonna have to burn it well no don't do that you'll probably need that for your next job i can't get another job <sighs> let's burn this motherfucker oh diamonds whoa all right i don't care about those put them back where i found them right. oh let's burn this briefcase down Then let me start the fire. All right. Briefcase is burning. Oh, wow. Yeah. <sighs> Farewell, man. Well, better get home and make me some cereal. So, there's a serial killer on the loose? Yeah, and he's getting to everybody. He killed Clarissa and my cousin Victor last year. Whoa, dude. <clears throat> yeah. It's kind of vicious. Yeah, Clarissa was badass. Yeah. Bitch was crazy. Yeah, I have a question. Do you know Lewis Thompson? Yeah, I think I do because I'm friends with Andre Thompson, which is your therapist. So, yeah, I know him. I have a feeling that he might or might not be the killer. The killer? Yeah, because uh, he had a circle beard, which the serial killer has. And uh, the serial killer was black, just like how the seri uh, Lewis was. So, man, anybody can just be a serial killer and be black. There's tons of black people out here on this earth. And many black people with a circle beard. Maybe it's just a coincidence. A coincidence? When he was being really suspicious about it? Really, Ethan? I'm just saying, like... It could be a coincidence. Like, what if that's his, like, evil twin or something? Evil twin, huh? So, you're telling me that he could have an evil twin that who's roaming around Los Angeles right now. Killing a whole bunch of people. Fuck that shit. He could have an evil twin. Yeah. But. I don't know if he does. And I have a therapy appointment to go to. Yeah, hello. Yo, Andre, what's up, man? Hey, turn my TV off. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm on my way. Bye. 
All right, guys, I got a therapy to go to, so you watch Henry for me. Okay. Just make sure that he has his food and stuff. All right. Hi, Henry. Going to therapy, Ma. Love you. Love you, too. So, Mrs. Sullivan? <laughs> yes, dear. So, Ryan wants me and Danny to watch his dog while he's out. Okay, that's fine. All right. Hi, Henry. Hello, I have an appointment with Andre Thompson. Therapy appointment. Hmm, therapy appointment? Okay. Uh, let me look that up for you. All right, you're all set. Okay, thank you. Hi, Andre. Hi there, Ryan. Come with me in the yoga room. This is too cramped. Okay. Yeah, this is just where I work and stuff. You could drop your bag here. <clears throat> so, <laughs> what's been going on in your life? Uh, you know, not much. Just shit. Hmm, I can tell. Yeah. And I really think that your dad is a serial killer. What? Yeah. There is a serial killer that who looked like your dad that who killed my cousin Victor last year and this girl named Clarissa Rodriguez. For real ski? Yeah, for real ski. Oh, dude. Yeah, so you might need to talk to your dad. I don't know if he's the serial killer. Um, I don't know either, but it's better for you to find out. Let me get, let me turn these candles off. All right, so this inhabits your impact on him. Yes, I really think he's a serial killer. You really, really think he's a serial killer? Yes. Oh, wow. I think I need to put that in the paperwork. Uh, you know what? Follow me. Bring your bag. All right. Follow me. I'm gonna go see where my dad is. All right, so I have my dad's location shared on my phone. So I tracked his location. Whoa, so this is your house? Oh, it's not my house. It's my dad's house. Yeah, um, I moved out. I have my own house, and this is where I used to sleep when I was young. So we kind of use this as like a guest room and like a room for my dog, Coco, to sleep. Hi, Coco. <laughs> Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Whoa, whoa, chill, doggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fun fact about dogs, they're always going to walk up to you and sniff you, you know, because they want to get to know you. Ah, uh -huh, and she just peed. <sighs> hey, Dad. Hey, well, things are not... Uh, really going well for me, Andre. I lost my job. Oh, yeah. Uh, tell him about it, uh, Ryan. Yeah, you know, uh, he didn't show up too many times, and you know, uh, he's not at his job that often, so that's why he got fired. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, you know, I had a whole lot of things ahead of me right now, and I've been through so many shit that's, like, fucking irritating me. Oh, Oh my god. Yeah, so, you think you might get another job? I mean, you know, uh, I did pay off this house in full, so, yeah, it didn't cost that much, so I don't need to pay the bills here. Uh, like, uh, I might just start working from home because, to be honest, uh, this is Pasadena right now. Oh, wow. Pasadena is pretty cool. I haven't been here often. Yeah. You know, the grocery store is all the way, like, in west downtown Los Angeles. Oh, wow. Yeah, the grocery store at work. And, you know, I, I really don't have the energy to drive for 30 minutes to, to be at my job. So, uh, I was thinking of selling this house and buying another one to show up. But, you know, it's too late. 
I got fired, so I might need to start working from home, or might as well just work here in Pasadena and find a different job. Like, I could probably still be a grocery worker, or, huh. Well, what are you really good at? I'm good at killing. <laughs> no, no, like, uh, killing all this energy for me. Like, I'm good at, like, killing all my strength. So, are you saying you should be a gymnast? Yeah, I could be a PE teacher. Yeah, yeah. So, me and Ryan are just going to go to the bathroom, and we're going to talk about something. So, you... Oh, uh, can I get you some water? Oh, uh, yeah, you can. All right. All right. We got our first clue, man. Dude, you're right. You're really, really right. Dude, he's actually the killer. Dude, he could be the killer. Dude, he said kill. He said he's good at killing. He said he's good at killing, man. I know. I know. He said he's good at killing, man. Yeah, I... You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? He's good at killing. He's good at putting all his strength into work, man. Wow. Yeah, I know. Wow. Dude, he's just cool. He's really... Dude, I mean, he's not that cool, but I'm just saying, dude, he's good. He's really good at telling all this stuff. Dude, we know he's the killer. Oh, my God. Dude, thank you for coming to my office. Dude, you can stop by at my office whenever you need to talk to me. Just, you know... Call me, and I'll get you an appointment for you to come over, all right? Oh, thanks, Andre. Oh, yeah, no problem. Give me five. Oh, all right. <laughs> so what were you boys talking about? Oh, we were just talking about some things because, you know, he had a therapy appointment with me. So I was just telling him some things towards that. And we go on with that. Hmm. Okay. So what are you really good at, Dad? I'm really good at choking. Oh, we got our other clue. Um, yeah, I'm, like, really good at, like, choking chicken. Like, I mean, I literally, like, choked my chicken in the bathroom when I saw this girl that who was taking a sexy picture with her ass out. Like, ooh, man, I, I want to choke my chicken to that. Oh. 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 <laughs> What was that? Uh, nothing? Hmm. All right, but seriously, though, there was this girl that who's got a fat ass. All right, all right, Dad. All right. We don't need to know that. We don't need to know that. I know, but I'm serious. She had a big fat... Hey, 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 Dad, I'm being serious. I really don't need to hear all that from you. Um, I'm just going to go back to my office with Ryan, and you have a good day. Uh, yeah, but I want to tell... Oh, man. <sighs> he really doesn't want to hear my weird stories. Yeah, because we don't. It's weird, Dad. Dude, did you hear that? Dude, we got some clues. He likes to kill and choke. Talk about choking his chicken. Man, what the fuck? Dude, I know. And he said kill, like kill all of his energy. Dude, he is not talking about that. Dude, he's the killer, man. Dude, he is. Oh my god, he is. Oh, should I call the cops? Oh, 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 not just yet. So, where does he usually haunt people? Elevator. Oh, wow. All right, so go to that place, the Los Angeles Community Center. Go to Elevator, and after that, walk up to him and say, Hey, you're Lewis. And then take off his mask and burn that mask. And after that, call the police. Oh. Huh. I don't think I'll have time to do that. <laughs> okay, well. Uh... If you see him, just run, because, you know, he has a knife, and shit, he will kill you while you're on the phone with the cops. Yeah. I mean, he just appears out of the middle of nowhere. I mean, that's how my cousin got killed. Oh, wow. Yeah. You want to show me your cousin's burial? Why? I want to give some condolences to him. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I can show you. Right over here. Come on. Oh, my bad. Oh my god, here he is. Dude, uh, does those candles ever go out? Yeah, but sometimes we just relight them, you know. We just put them here so that way people know that he's dead. 
Oh, yeah, so it's most likely for show. Yeah, you can easily put them out and light them again, you know. I'm just putting them out because, you know, oh, it smells glossy. So it's been here for, so it's been on for a year. No, not exactly. People have to come here and, you know, they just walk through and just make sure everything's okay. Wait, why do they do that? That oh, That's their job. They're supposed to do that. Oh, okay. Yep, so th here he is, and he's buried six feet under this dirt. I mean, it's the grass, but this is where he buried, and yeah, he got stabbed by your dad. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I don't know why, but your dad's crazy. He needs to be checked. Yeah, probably needs to be checked. This is him. Yeah, I don't touch that picture. You can just see it. Huh. He was like a precious boy. Yeah. Very precious boy. Oh, wow. All right. Ugh. All right, so call me whenever you need another appointment. Okay, will do. Bye. Peace out. Wait, no, 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 wait, uh, you drove me here, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yes. You can drive me back to my office. All right. You got the job now, sir. Thanks, Rusty. You're welcome, Hunter. I'm a go. Oh, almost forgot. Huh? Did I just hear someone? Yeah, oh, all right. Forgot my dog food for my pet. <laughs> Just need to fix this car and make the light shine automatically. All right, I think it worked. Whoa! And I just got me some money. Prop money? Man, get out of my face. <gasps> Whoa! You know, Spencer, you're a good friend, man. All right, good night, buddy. <laughs> oh my god! Hello, boys. Oh, what? Where the hell are we? You. <laughs> uh, I want to play a little game with you guys. <laughs> what the? F Hunter? How did you get here? Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't ask him questions that you don't want to know. I do want to know how he got there. Who are you? Oh, you you want to know who I am? You want to know who I am so bad? You really want to know who I am? You want to know who I am? Yeah, yeah. They call me the freak of the fall. Fuck a little bitch. I've come to take it all. I'm a, I'm a ghost. Who the fuck you go call? Bossing with the scarecrow in the field, no. On the blood dripping down my jaw Step out of my line and get out blinding chalk Prince of the dark and the dead will walk I can feel my enemy begin to fear my drum I am ready when it comes to pain I'm numb I could tell you things you won't believe I've done I kill to feel
Now that's who the fuck I am, everybody. So your name is the Freak of the Fall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That whole song made no sense. No. My name is Mirme. They just call me the Freak of the Fall. Because it's fall, and I'm the Freak. I don't think so, mister. Mother! Ow, what the fuck? Ow! What the? Get out of here! Oh, come on, guys, let's go. Billy, you saved us. Yeah, come on, hurry up, let's fucking go. Now! What the? No! I was trying to play a game with them. Shut the fuck up. What the? What? Ugh. Oh, shit. Alright, guys. No shit is going on, like, right this very minute. Okay? He is literally gonna come through the elevator shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Buddy! What? Whoa, 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 wait. Is this Hunter's Gro uh, GoPro? He recorded my cousin Victor skateboarding. Oh, wow, I'm keeping this camera. Should I give Hunter a call? No, no, no. This camera's mine. Ugh, keeping it for my memory. All right. Sh should we videotape it and you can uh, show it to Andre? I'm not going to videotape us about to be killed oh man uh i need to go to the bathroom all right well i'm thinking of playing basketball so you know what we're coming yeah 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 we're coming we coming we coming let's go let's move in <laughs> vent elevator shaft what the hell is that? Hey, everybody! What the f Open this goddamn elevator door right now. Oh, my God! Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. Where did he go? Lewis! Oh, my God. Lewis. Oh, my God. Is everything okay? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Freaking serial killer. That who killed Clarissa. And my cousin was in there. Oh, my God. Oh, crap. I'm really sorry. Oh. What the... Knife. Ah! Ryan! Ryan, what's wrong? Oh, my God. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I think the serial killer's here. Yeah. Remember? At the dance studio? He killed the girl? Oh. Oh my god. Sir, sir, sir. Uh, give me your location. Yeah, Compton Road. Compton Road. Los Angeles Community Center. Okay. Coming over there. Alright, thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. P police residents will be here right now. Ugh. Guys, I don't know what's going on. Get him! Alright, you're under arrest, sir. What the? So, you're the creepy killer. And I even found your knife laying on the ground. I don't even know how that got there. Well, you have the right to remain silent, buddy. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. And what you will say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You understand me, sir? Yes, I understand, but I'm literally innocent. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, but shut, shut that mouth of yours. I know you did something wrong. I know you killed that girl. I know you killed another boy a year ago. I don't know what you're talking about. I did nothing. <sighs> Explain that to the judge. What? No. No, no, no. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. Oh, my God. Wow. He's arrested. Andre. <sighs> yes. Yes, he's arrested. Send me a flick. I sent it. Oh, let me see. I got it. Oh, dude. Yeah, buddy. My dad's going to be in there for a long time. Yeah, I know that, Andre. Good night, buddy. Good night. All right. Huh. Let's go play basketball. <clears throat> oh. 
Order in the court, everybody. Order up. So, we will be hearing the case today of Lewis Thompson being accused of killing. Hmm. Pretty investigative. Being accused of killing a girl here not too long ago, like yesterday at midnight. Yeah, was it yesterday? Yeah, yeah, midnight, yeah. And, yeah, October 27th, he killed a girl, Clarissa Rodriguez, and he killed Victor Maxwell on October 31st, 2023. Do you have any remorse for this? Look, all I'm saying, I didn't do this. Oh, you didn't do it. Well, uh, yes, yes, he did do it because I have foolproof evidence. Huh, looks like we're missing one more person. Wait, wait me. You're missing me. Oh my god, yeah. I'm his son. Huh, so what's your name? Andre. Andre, so, so back to you, Ryan. What was your evidence? Well, I saw. Well, Lewis has a circle beard, right? Right. And the serial killer had a circle beard. And you know... When I was in the grocery store with him, and right after he got fired, he was acting kind of suspicious about, after I told him about those victims who'd been murdered. So, he could be murdered. Uh, he could be the killer, or could be not, because, you know, there's tons of black people on here that who have circle beards like him. Hmm, could be. But we're not 100% that that is correct. So... I mean, what were you doing today? Explain, Lewis. Well, you know, I was just at the community center, you know, just trying to get my mind off of things. I go there to play basketball, and, you know, uh, I just go over there and chill. What were you doing on October 27th? October 27th? Um, I did go over there, but, you know, I was watching the people on the dance studio, and at the middle of the night, I had to use the bathroom, and I just left. Or you happened to run by Clarissa Rodriguez there, you know. And also, what were you doing on October 31st? October 31st? Uh, I was, you know... Just at the skate place, you know, just skating around, and you know, I was I took the elevator to the basketball court because I was playing basketball, and I was gonna go home, and yeah, I just got bored, so I just left. Yeah, did you happen to leave Victor's dead body in the elevator? No, officer, I didn't kill anybody. Well, we're gonna have to hold you till we get more exclusive evidence. I mean. Unless if you have something to prove that you're innocent, then there's nothing we can do. I order here that I sentence Lewis Thompson 35 years to life in the federal prison. Case dismissed. I just want a case. Get him out of here. I didn't do it! Put this on. And you can use the walkie if you need anything. Water, food. I mean, it's nighttime anyway, so you might need to go to sleep. Speaking of that, let me shut the power. So this is like solitary confinement. So get in your cell. What the? Mm-hmm. Forgot there wasn't a lawyer here. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was taking a nap. All right, next time be at the other case, or else we're going to have to let you go. Okay. Just need to put his clothes there. Just keep it in there. All right, we're good. Now, me and Chris are going to go back. <sighs> this is so stupid. I need to shut the power.
Just want to empty out a little bit of junk I found at the after school program because I'm also a janitor there part time. So this all could be trash. What the heck? Yeah, whatever. I could just leave it out here. Briefcase can lay in there. Oh, did I just see that the guy stole my suit? Someone stole my suit. No, they put it in the can. All right. Can I go to the bathroom? <sighs> Hurry up. Fix my shades. Ha! Hey! Hey, man! Ah. Uh -huh. Oh shit, I need to go get him. Hey, but... Why is this on my head? What the... Where did he just go? What the... Damn it. Yeah, I'm talking, like... Was he actually holding a knife? Fuck yeah, Carlos. He's brutal as hell. Oh, man. I'm so happy that that guy is in bars. All right. See ya. I'm gonna go home. All right. What the fuck was that? Let me get home. What the? Huh? Oh, what's that? Huh? Huh, oh, nothing. Stupid Ryan. I really hate that person. I'm gonna teach that badass a lesson. You know what? Since I like to put tampons in his locker, and he wants to snitch on me so bad, and get me out of school. I'm gonna show up to school there with that knife. And I'm gonna say, hey, what's up, Ryan? You like to be a snitch? Yeah. First thing tomorrow. Ugh. Long nights. Hmm. <gasps> Let's go check on Ethan. I heard that he came here all alone. Ethan! Oh, no. Oh, my God. There's some bruising on his neck. So he's been choked out. Strangulation. Oh, man. I gotta get him to an ambulance immediately. Oh, God. Uh, all right. I'll, I'll see you outside. I just... Lewis. Oh, my God. Ethan. He's dead. You motherfucker. You killed him. Uh, I really don't know what you're talking about. I didn't kill him. I'm gonna go take a dump. Let's get, I'll just get him to the hospital now. Oh, just doing my night shift job. <clears throat> just need to spray this off. Oh, I can't come off. What the hell is that?
Ah, mm. frickin' Pedro. I'll put this tampon in my locker. Fuck this. Put my phone in there too. Ah. Hey class. Whoa. It's kind of a wipeout of everybody today. Wow. I heard that there's a serial killer going on a killing spree. Yeah, Clarissa's dead. Uh Ethan is dead and Carlos is dead. So we have three dead students. Hmm. Spencer and Pedro do have art. So I can move them to this class and we can figure out how to get that other student to get one more student there or something like that. We'll figure it out. Oh, what the hell? Why is my locker open? Hmm. Okay. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this shit. Fucking Ryan, you stupid ass bitch. You want to snitch so bad? You want to snitch so bad? You want to be such a fucking snitch? Hey, 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 break it up. Pedro, where'd you come from? I came from art class, but I had to go outside and get my knife since I wasn't able to bring it in the building. So fuck you, Ryan. Who's ready to die? Hey, hey, no, 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 I'm taking you to the office. What? No, no, no. Fuck you, Ryan. Dude, are you okay? You just got threatened. Man, Pedro's badass. I just got threatened by Pedro. Don't worry, he's gonna get the karma that he deserves. So, Pedro. Bringing a knife into school grounds and threatening another student with it. Yeah, because he's a bitch for snitching to me. Snitching on me. A. Don't call a student that, ever. Do you even know what the word bitch means? A female dog. Yeah, he acts like a female dog. You know what? We had enough of you. You've done so much trouble. We suspended you for one day. We kicked you out of the school now. And now, you want to know what's going to happen? Are you going to make me change schools? Better yet, you're expelled. <gasps> no, 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 no. I can't. I can't get expelled. I need this education. Please, please. I need this building. Oh, I have so many straight A's in this class. Come on, come on. This is going to be on my permanent record. Well, you should have thought about that before you brought that knife in there. And guess what? We had to file charges, and we got Officer Hernandez to come place you on arrest. Yep, you're under arrest, buddy. You're under arrest for brandishing a butcher knife on school grounds. Come in with me, buddy. Yeah, and somebody check on that goddamn janitor. He's supposed to clean up all my mess that I have on my desk. A janitor. And are you his teacher? No. I'm just a teacher that was teaching Ryan and he threatened Ryan. Hmm. What the? The janitor is dead. What the? The janitor's dead? Oh my god, let me go get the nurse. Yeah, uh, we have a dead body in the closet. Yeah, we got a dead janitor here. Oh my god. Yeah, he has no pulse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. I'm gonna take him to the emergency room in the hospital. Alright, thank you. Alright. Oh, shit. Wow. Put that butcher knife somewhere away. Just put it in the storage. Right here. Oh, there's another knife. I don't know where that came from. Weird. Now, we have to put up a sign that says we are hiring a new janitor since that goddamn guy is dead. Fucking hell. I'm gonna go back. Ha 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 
Another court case. God damn. I think we just had a court case like two days ago, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I believe so. But uh, anyway, we will be hearing the case today of Pedro Santos being accused of bringing a butcher knife in school and threatening a student with it. What do you have to say? Uh, well, first of all, the kid was getting on my fucking nerves, and he just keeps snitching, giving out information. Well, he well he has the right to tell somebody about something if you do something wrong, Pedro. Like, you can't say that he's a snitch because he's can't because he's not a snitch. If he needs to go tell somebody about it, then that's what he needs to do. Hmm, that's a fair point. So, and I heard that you've been causing way too many trouble in school. So, yeah, I sentence you 15 years in the federal prison, but seven and a half years if you have good behavior. Case dismissed. Come here, buddy. Ugh. Oh, shit, we got another one. Yeah. And FYI, by the way kid uh we got a cellmate that who just escaped but once we find him he's gonna be all yours in here so you're gonna have to deal with him cellmate yeah because he's gonna be your cellmate hmm is it that serial killer oh yeah oh hell no sorry man you're gonna have to deal with it this is jail welcome to the hood put these prisoner clothes on and you see that walkie that's strapped to you? Yeah. Use that if you need anything. Like, say on the walkie, Hey, Officer Hernandez, I need water. Something like that. Okay. Now get in there. Don't ever bring butcher knives to school. And you're expelled anyway, so you're gonna have to go to a non-traditional school when you get out. Oh, wait! You can't go to any school. Because once you get out, you're gonna be what? You're going to be like 33, 34 years old, 32, something like that. Yeah, so you won't be able to go to school anyway because of how old you'll be. Have fun for the next 15 years, my boy. Damn it. Until somebody comes by and bails you out. I'm a good lawyer. Yeah, you get paid on Tuesday, buddy. So, yeah, you're a very good lawyer. Huh, I'm gonna go back to my police station. Yeah, and I'm here to make sure if you need anything. Hey, can I get some water? Sure, sure. So just slide it between these railings. Okay, like the cup? Yeah. Let me just fill that up for you. Wait, I thought you left. Oh no, I'm actually gonna stay because I need to talk to a lawyer. So... Spiky criminals, huh? Yeah, I heard when I went to New York City, there was a lot of spiky criminals on the loose. And I had to write every single file of them. Here you go, buddy. Here's your water. Thank you. You're welcome. October 31st, got nobody that who's interested into being the janitor <clears throat> no not yet but eventually there will be okay mr norman
Ah! What the fuck? Whoa! Holy shit! Mr. Norman? Mr. Norman? Mr. Norman? <laughs> ah, Mr. Norman! What the hell? Mr. Norman? <sighs> what the? What the hell? I'm looking at the balcony. Mr. Norman! Hey, Ryan. Hello, Principal Adams. Yeah, um, I'm just ready to go in the class because I have a confession to make, so go have a seat. Okay. <clears throat> so, hey. Um, everybody, wait, uh, hold on, I need to tell them something first. Okay, so, we did bring Spencer in here, you know, as one of the new students, because, you know, since we had the other three that who died because of that goddamn serial killer. <sighs> yeah, well, everybody, I have a confession to make. <sighs> Down the balcony, right where I was looking at, I found... Mr. Norman, dead. He got thrown off the balcony. Probably by that serial killer. And guys, I'm warning you, he might be in the school somewhere. So, be careful and be cautious. Rah! Whoa! Guys, everybody, stay calm. Rah! Whoa! Ah, mother bro mother fuck what the fuck what the fucking pussy fucking ah, ah. don't worry guys i'm protecting this class oh my god ryan you're a hero oh yeah don't worry i don't fuck around with that dude all right watch your mouth oh all right everybody you know what since we got a serial killer on the loose and in this building right now, I want everybody to go home right now. I'm talking, pack your shit and get out of here. All right, all right. Oh, come on, we need to get out of here. Come on, move it, people. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Yeah, move it, come on. All right, hold on. I gotta, all right. Everybody, have a wonderful day. Move it. Move it, people. Move it, move it. Move it. All right, all right. All right, man, we're trying. All right, come on, everybody, let's go. Wow. Uh, I have to leave, too. That's it, Mirme. We had the fuck enough with you. We want to fight you in that elevator right now. Square up, pussy. Let's go. Yeah, and we finally know your name, Mirme, or Mir fuck. Satan, the fucking devil, serial killer, Lewis. We knew it was you all along. All along. I don't need that. Give me my fucking mask. All right, let's fight! Oh, yeah! <laughs> time to die! <laughs> time to die! Time to die. Ah, time to die. Stupid ass. Stupid ah, fucking bitch. Stupid bitch. Oh, stupid, stupid bitch. Yeah, you're gonna die. Yeah. Oh, 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 what? Man, what the hell's going on in there? Doing this for Ethan. Well, let me get into all that action. Enough! Alright. Each and every one of you is gonna die. With this knife right now. Not so fast, mister. Billy, oh my god, you saved us. Man, I didn't save y'all pussies, man. Shut the fuck up, Sully Sullivan. I just came in here to see what was going on in here. You know what? How about you kill me instead? Nah. You know what? How about I'ma fuck you up? Boom! Oh, I got your knife. No, no, I got the knife. You wanna die? No, 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 no. Let me handle this shit. Give me the fucking knife, Brody. All right. Oh yeah, buddy. What? What the? Whoa, ow, ow, ah. Ah, what the hell? What the fucking? What the? What the hell? What the? <laughs> Holy shit! Ah, ah, ah.
It's over, Mirme. You're done for. Drop the weapon. Drop the fucking weapon! Uh, uh, we knew it was you. You lied to us. You said you didn't do anything. You fucking liar. Oh, and we got another dead body. Don't worry. I'll take care of this body, and I'll take this down to the hospital. Oh, oh my god. Oh. You're fucking done for. You're really fucking done for this time, man. Hey, Pablo, take that shit away. Okay, okay. All right. All right. The shit is gone forever. All right. Let me take this dead body away. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. You're coming with us, buddy. We don't even need to say your Miranda rights. We gave you so many chances. And now you're under arrest. Shit. Let's go home. Yup, that is right, everybody. Mirme, also well known as the real name, Lewis Thompson, is now locked up where he should be, guys. He is a serial killer, and he is now in the federal prison, and he will never get out of there. He is in there for life. I mean, you can see his mugshot already. I mean, he looks like that he's a serious killer. Not because he's black, though. But he is now locked up of the victims of eight murders that he has done. More on the story as it develops. Get in there, you filthy animal. You've got a cellmate. Pedro! Oh, shit, you're the guy. So you're the guy that who kept creeping around my house. If you didn't steal my mask... I mean, you creeped around in the first place. Yeah, because I wanted to see what was up with you, buddy. Uh -huh -huh. But what are you in here for? I brought a butcher knife to school. You brought a butcher knife to school? Shit. Should be more like me. I was trying to. Well, buddy. You should join my turf one day. I'm gonna teach you how to really kill. Don't just bring a knife in the middle of nowhere and just not know what to do with it. I knew what to do with it. You probably didn't know the right way. Oh. All right, buddy. I'm gonna take a nap. Okay, whatever. Ah, oh, stupid prison. <gasps> Shit, Andre. Yes! Yes, Andre! He did get arrested. Fuck yes! Haha, <laughs> I told you, man. What did I tell you? Just kick his ass. Bro, I did kick his ass. And guess what? Another dude jumped in the elevator. His name's Billy. And he got killed. Oh, real shit, man? Yeah, real shit, man. Oh, what? Cool! Yo, that shit is... Brilliante. <laughs> Woo! Alright, buddy. Let me know if you need anything. Bye. Bye. Oh man, Billy died. Oh my god. I miss my dad and brother from above. What happened to them? They died in a car accident when I was 10 years old in 2017. Oh wow. Yeah, I think my brother was 14 or 15. I believe so. And my dad. Yeah, um, I don't know how old he was. He was probably... I think it was 37. Yeah, 37 or 36, yeah. I have no idea. Oh, wow. I am so sorry for your loss. Oh, it's okay, Danny. Oh, hey, Ryan. Hey, what's up, Ma? So, I heard about Lewis. You went to the grocery store and he worked there. Yeah, he did. But he's gone now because he was a bad person, so... We need to stay away from him. Yeah. Uh. <laughs>